Hey, what's good, everyone? Uh, Saucony has been pretty quiet for the last one or two years, especially considering the amount of collabs they have been releasing. There used to be a time when they had been a lot more active, but now and then they do release a killer release, and so is the new GR line from them. And uh, this is one of them. This is one of three GRs out of the Saucony Shadow 5000 vintage line, and we're going to be taking a close look at this one today. Before we start, if you're not subscribed to my channel and want to see more dope stuff like this, then you know what you got to do. Okay, here we go. Um, this one here has been released with two other colorways within the Shadow 5000 Vintage Pack. And the other colorways are a white, teal and black and a green, orange and brown pair. But the green, orange, brown pair is the least favorite of the whole pack. Uh, not my thing really. And it was a toss up between this one and the white, teal, black pair. And I finally decided for this one here because it does remind me the most of a New Balance shoe. Um, just the colors are very New Balance-ish. Uh, that gray and that nice blue here that's almost a gray. And in combination with the white tongue and the off-white midsole, it's just a very nice and dope vintage looking shoe, which I really, really like. Um, this thinner, Nylon tongue is also the reason why this is called vintage and also of course the like off-white actual white midsole and uh, I think this suits the whole theme just perfectly. Um, I'm glad they have given this a combination of suede nylon on mesh because I think this is great for the summertime makes this very very breathable because the last thing you want to have in the summertime is an all leather shoe which leaves you sweaty and stinky. <laughs> Um, after a couple of hours and this makes this very very wearable uh, so I'm very glad about that um, sizing wise I would go with your normal Shadow 5000 sizing if you're familiar with that to me it is a New Balance 997, 990, 998 sizing which is a half size down from my true size uh, which I have in uh, Nike Air Max 1 or A6 Jedi 3 I'm a 12 in these 12 in the New Balances and a 12 in and, and a 12 and a half in Nike and Asics most of the time. And uh, these fit me just great with a little bit of wiggle room. If you have white feet, you might want to size up to your true size. They do come with two pair of laces, pair of white laces and a gray pair. And I exchanged them with a different pair of white laces because the original ones are just way too long for me for my narrow feet. And I would have to tie them up like two times to make it fit. And I don't think that looks very good, so replace them with other laces. The reason why I bought in-store is because they do come with a limited pair of white socks. These here, very, very nice, specifically made for these socks. The Saucony branding on top, some little black hits here and there, and some more Saucony branding on the toes and underneath and they just match the shoes perfectly. Also great thing that these are a mid cut, so not too high, not too low. And it's also great that these are not too thick. You can still wear these in the summertime and not just in the fall, spring and winter. Um, match perfectly, great thing there. I think I'm still gonna be picking up the other colorway as well because I like them that much. So, and if uh, Saucony wants to send me a pair for free, I'm not gonna send them back. I really do like them a lot and I do think this is the nicest pair that they have released on a general release, at least since 2015. I think they're really, really dope. Uh, that is the best thing they have done in a long time. And uh, I can't wait to throw these babies on feet. So stay tuned for the on section coming right up. 